Hello everyone, welcome back to Double Doctor's Life. Today I'm going to share a small trick to make very delicious rice with you guys. My husband thought I bought some kind of fancy rice cooker or whatever. I told him the trick. He said he had never heard about that before. I guess most people haven't. So I decided to share this trick with you guys. And today I will also show you how to make cute rice balls. Let's check it out. Here's a rice cooker I use. It's a very old and cheap one. You can tell its age by looking at the bottom. There's only one function, cook, nothing fancy. However, you can still make the best rice with such an old cheap rice cooker. And it's very convenient. Let's go check it out. First rice. Today I'm going to use Asian short rice. It has a more chewy texture and becomes sweeter and sweeter as you chew it. I will use 3 cups of rice since that's the max for this rice cooker. Make sure you use the same cup to measure both the rice and the water. This cup is not standard 1 US cup, but it doesn't matter. Now rinse the rice. Use cold water. Hot water may take away some nutrition from rice. To clean the rice, you can use da -da, chopsticks. Yep, chopsticks. Use chopsticks to stir the rice a little bit. And then slowly pour the water out. Rinse the rice a second time. Of course, you can use your hands to clean the rice when the water is not too cold. Some rice may want to escape. Try to catch them with your hand. Or you can use a strainer. Rinsing your rice twice is enough, and you don't have to get all the water out. Just do your best. The water you use to rinse rice is very good to wash grapes. Look, it did a good job! For such kind of short rice, I like to use a 1 to 1 rice to water ratio. It really depends on your personal preference. Wipe off the water on the bottom before putting it into the base. Even the rice a little bit. Here comes my trick! The tricky part is soaking the rice in water for 30 minutes. This helps each grain drink about the same amount of water. This will allow the rice to be cooked more evenly and result in an amazing texture. Okay, so it's 30 minutes later and time to start cooking. There are two things you don't want to forget when cooking rice with a rice cooker. 1. Plug the power. 2. Press the cook button. Rarely I forgot to do one of these two things and then have no rice to eat when the meal's ready. I guess I shouldn't tell you that because I claim to be a professional. Yeah, professional. The cooking process takes about another 30 minutes. When the cooking process is done, do not remove the lid immediately after this. Give it about 15 to 30 minutes for the steam to do some further cooking. After a long time, it's finally time to check our rice. Mmm, the rice smells so good. Check the texture. You can see every grain clearly. Some of my friends asked me, should they buy a fancy expensive rice cooker to make rice? My answer is you can, but it's not necessary. Because after you learn this small trick, you can see even a cheap one can do an awesome job. Look at the rice. 
It's chewy but not hard or dry. Let's check the leftover. It's very easy to take all the rice out. You will see the bottom is a little bit browned. It's just because my rice cooker is so old and the bottom is pretty damaged. Regardless, the rice still tastes very good. If the rice on the bottom is hard, just put some water in and wash it later. To protect your rice cooker, do not use sharp things that can damage the bottom and make sure to wash it with a brush or sponge. Let's make some cute rice balls with the rice we made. Take some rice, depends on how big rice ball you want to make. Put some rice seasoning in and mix them. There are a lot of different options. This one can taste zero fat and it's a little bit spicy. It's perfect for my husband. Use some plastic wrap so rice doesn't stick to your hands. I feel it works even better than gloves. Then push the rice together into a ball first and cover it with plastic wrap. Leave a little room on the top since we will make it into a different shape. Two hands, 90 degree. Form your hands into triangle shape, then press the rice together. I will show it once again. Two hands, 90 degree. Triangle shape, press together. Rotate and press other sides. At the end, modify the surface a little bit. We got a cute triangle shaped rice ball. Get rid of the plastic wrap. Put a small piece of roasted seaweed on it. Then we're done. You can also make rice balls with plain rice, nothing added. Here's my husband's first rice ball. His hand is much bigger than mine, so we got a bigger rice ball. We made three with different size. They are a rice ball family. Let's make lunch box. Put the rice ball into a bowl with fruits and veggies. This is his lunch tomorrow. This is fried rice we made from the leftover rice. Leave a comment below if you are interested in how to make it. This is today's video. Please hit subscribe and like button if you enjoyed it. I will post more family recipes in the future. Hit the bell so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching and see you next time.